Hey guys, Ragebar TV here, back with another video. Today I'll be giving you a quick guide on how Guild Siege works. If you're the leader of a guild, or if you're the defense minister of a guild, or if you just are a player who wants to know how Siege works. Let's get started. So first off, you're going to open up the Guild tab. We're going to go down to Guild Siege. It's going to open up a map. Now this map is a... Um, representation of every guild in the game and where they have placed themselves on this map to move spots or to place yourself on the map you need guild energy once you have the required guild energy to move on to a spot the map will automatically generate a spot that is open and tell you the price to move to that spot at the start of every season seasons generally last 30 days as you can see up here when you place yourself on the map there's a few things you want to look for. If you're a newer guild or a low level server, I would highly recommend waiting until all the high level guilds place themselves. As being positioned in the middle of the map will put you at the highest risk for being attacked from every angle, as you can see here. These spots are normally reserved for guilds that have very high leveled players on older servers with a lot of time difference between other servers. Generally, you'll find new guilds starting out on the edges of the map and then slowly working them where, their way in to as close as they can get. How the siege works is if you're in spot 5 and you want to attack laterally, you can. And you, if you beat them in an invasion or a siege as an attack, you will move to that spot. Now if you attack someone when you're in spot 5 and they're in spot 4, you will move and swap places with them. Always take into account on where you are going to be moving to if you were to win that fight. To take into a note here, for example, if this guild in Famous was to attack Gold Sun, they would then be in range of Dark Chaos and Solaris. So you have to use your strategy to see okay where can I go where I'm not going to get hit by powerful guilds um, there's a lot of dead guilds in the game right now that you can use as a lower level guild to help get your members um, accommodations and contribution for the guild and uh, higher rewards for the season just from moving from five to f from four to five from four to three three to four um, and backwards going between two dead guilds to get resources for your guild which are going to help you build things. Um, Siege is a good way to do that. When you first start out you need to have um, again level 3 castle to be able to enter the siege map. Once that happens it's all up to your guild leader and the ministers of defense to select where they want to attack or invade. Please note if you are going to declare hostility against somebody that just means you're going to be able to go to their guild and do invasion quests where you could burn their buildings which normally it's not what you do um, you don't want to burn buildings it just shows that you really don't like that guild but i mean if you want to go for it it is just for a game it's fun um at first when you first are getting destroyed by every guild it's it's a very you know tedious and boring and you know you get aggravated but once you get stronger yourself it's a good way to test yourself against other servers and other guilds uh, that are around your level uh, if i want to declare war on somebody if i declare war today for example which is friday and it's before midnight on friday the war will be tomorrow at normally eight o'clock unless the guild's getting attacked by somebody else it'll be the next day now 30 minutes before a siege, whether you're defending, meaning someone's attacking you, or you're attacking, meaning you're attacking them, you can build siege vehicles. They have recently buffed these siege vehicles, and to get through gates, it makes it really, really easy. So if you're building, um, if you want to build an artment, your, uh, your gate would be number one because that's going to stop people from getting in and it's very hard for lower lower level servers to get through that gate um, they'd have to go around the mines um, so that's pretty much strategy for you know moving around the map taking a look at okay if i were to beat this guild where who else is going to be in range of me if that's a good move um 
Another thing to look at is when you're in the siege, whether you're defending or attacking, there is five flag flags or bases. You need to cap these bases if you're attacking, and this will allow you to attack the crystal in the crystal room. Um, once the crystal reaches zero, the, the fight's over, you've won the siege. And if you're defending, you want to try to cap back these bases because it reduces the damage taken by the crystal for 20% for each crystal. So you really want to make sure you're capping back these crystals um, if, you, if you have enough people in your guild to do that. Like I said, a lot of these guilds are mostly dead. Just find a spot and move between two dead guilds and you can uh, keep reoccurring... Um, reoccurring resources that you can then use to build your guild even stronger. I hope this guide helps any new players uh, who just want to know how Siege works. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. Thanks and stay safe.